Okay, we're learning Lil Nishas uh Avram Banish Ben Yechil Michal Yechil Yehuda Koye Banish Mandel. Okay, Nun Zion Amid Aleph. Uh Koinim Paris Elu Alai. Now the keyword guy says being Elu. The guy says these Paris are Koinim on me. Or he says, Hain al Lipi, Koinim Hain Lifi. He says the Koinim Alai or Koinim Hain Al Pi or Koinim Hain Lifi. So when you say koinim, you're making it a carbon, and you're making specific things carbon. Then asa bechilufeyen ubi gedulehem. You'd asa in anything you can barter for it. In other words, you won't be able to barter anything for it. It'll be asa ubi gedulehem. And if you would be something that's plantable and it would grow, you'd be asa to have enough from what from the thing that grow. Mashma, however. The, let's say you would plant the thing that grew. You plant the gidu gedulehem. The second generation would be permitted. <clears throat> Now, what's the reason for this? Says the Ran. Mishum dekiven sheparat hadvarim hanesarim alav. Since he explicitly stated what exactly is usher on him, shavayu aleo kehegdish. It's shavay nashi chetich disura fellas. He made this like hegdish. Umishim hachi mitzah bechilufeim bedulehem. Right, and therefore it be usher kehechi dechilfu hegdish vigudlei masirin. Just like hegdish, guys. If you mark this something, you can't barter it for something else. You can't plant it. It's hegdish. Who are then these these crops? Now, what's the difference, fellas? Then, if you say koinim te'inim alai, koinim anavim alai, where it's muta, and that the Ran addresses, and the leidami lenoida stam in a te'inim and anavim, it's not comparable to going ahead and making a nether to refrain from eating figs in general. Grapes in general, because over here, what did you say? Mm-hmm. Paris Elu. You said you mafarit. You said these specific. Shekim and shlei parit va'asar alav kol amin le'asam alav hegdish shlei neskaven elam me'achila oisle min. When you say koinim that these the species of a fig, you mean I should eat it, but you didn't make it into hegdish. That's the difference between the two. That's the difference between the two. But over here, the gedulim would be geduli gedulim would be mut. Okay, so again, case number one. Koinim Paris Elu, Alai, you also be Chilufeim Begdulehem. You made it a piece of Hegdish. It's different than Stam when you make something, because Stam, you're not answering, uh, you're just asking La Chila. And, but Gidu Gidulehem, the next generation would be permitted. However, if you say Koinim, you say Koinim She'eni Oichel, Ve'eni Toyem, then Muta be Chilufeim Begdulehem, then you be Muta. In the achila fame gedulehem, because you only ask them be achila and teima. Okay, says the Gemara, and bedava shezaroi kala. Bemedava, I like putting bemedava murim. When is this halacha stated? By something bedava kala. That's when you be muta. Avo bedava shein zara kala afilu gedule gedule nasurim. Going back on the ratio, guys. Outside, outside, guys. Going back on the ratio. You tell me, you said koin and peris elu. You be asa bigidulin, but you be mutavigidilu gidulin. Good. That's something that when it you plant it, it dissipates totally. It doesn't exist anymore. And now it's a brand new plant. Then the gidulin would be mutter. However, if it's something she'ain zarakila, garlic, onions, any bulb that's going to go ahead and still have a remnant of the original. Then a filu gidu gedulim would be asa. Guys, you hear? Because so this din that we said bemed is like bemed mamurim that this din that gedulim is muta is only by davasha shezarei kala. But if davasha ain't zarei kala, it doesn't get consumed. Then I alish yakasha. Why don't we say bittel, guys? Why don't we say bittel? Uh, and what's the answer? It's a davasha yeshloi matirim. Why? Because it's a, we we gave the shear Friday, right? Remember the shear last Friday, right? It's a mitzvah to mitzvah to take it off. It's a mitzvah to take it off. Mitzvah to remove it, right? So very, we have a very nice shot here. This mission, guys, is going to repeat itself three times. So we have we have two cases. We have a case where you asked it a specific species. We had a case you asked it only in Yachila, specific species gedula gedula and smuta, provided the divide. It's a davish zarei kala. But if it's a davish and zarei kala, afilu gedulim would be would be what. Would be usher, and you don't say bittel. Why? Because it's a dava she'e You're supposed to take it off. This is Baruch Hashem. Things we're familiar with from from before. Next case. 
guy's having little marital problems, right? And he says to his wife, I can't have enough from the workings of your hands. Or Now, guys, saying your wife's hands are also working for your hands, that's not a general term. It's very specific. Her hands, what she's doing, this is similar to what? Paris Elu. This is similar to Paris Elu, right? You're saying whatever she does with her hands, right? Therefore, you'll be usher in, in the chilufin if any, anything you bought her with that, that she made, or if she plants something, you would be usher. However, shani oichel shani toyim, then muto be chilufeyem, ubi dulayem, and when, when again provided, the davish is arakala, alva davish ain't arakala, I feel gidulin, gidule gidulin, asurin, the same alacha would apply. The same alacha would apply. Third case, sha'at oisa ani. Okay, we had guys, we had this Gemara and Daf Tesvav. You put the Tanai before the, the, the Islam before the Tanai, Tanai before the Islam. Good, Machloikas of this. Now, you say the following Whatever you make, whatever clothing you make, I won't cover myself with. Now, so why, why don't you say, guys? You limited the zman of the nether. You limit, in other words, whatever you make, that's us now. Guys, listen up, it's because it's 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 it's, it's, it's gonna be a dakas to the Whatever you make until Pesach is us upon me. Good. Now, what happens if she makes something before Pesach? It will be us. What happens after Pesach? The nether's off. Then you know you gave a gavul to the nether. You said whatever you do. Right? What? What's the noise? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Sorry to disturb you. Anyway, I'll only wear it up. up. Now, Asaf Nea Pesach, Moto Lechel is Chasa, Achra Pesach. Then whatever she made before Pesach, you would be able to go ahead and use it afterwards. Why? Because you limited the zman of the of the of the nether. You limited the zman of the nether. Shaat oisa ara pesach. Now listen to this. Whatever you make at a pesach, any oichel, I won't eat. Ushat oisa ara pesach any miskasa. So now you know what you did? You gave a time frame for the nether to be chal, but once it's chal, it's completely there. In the first case, guys, you limited the zman of the nether. This case, you're going ahead and saying, uh, you know, the zman when the nether could be made. But once it's made, it's done. It's finished. So look at the Lashen. Sha'at oisa'ara Pesach, any oicha. Whatever you make until Pesach, I won't eat. Sha'at oisa'ara Pesach, any mischasa. Whatever you make until Pesach, I won't be covered with. Why? Because the nether is, is in place now. Fourth case. He's standing somewhere between Suk- Sukkot and Pesach. And he says the following. Whatever, you can't have enough from me. You can't have enough from me. Until Pesach. Until Pesach. So the nether is now, and the maisa is going to be afterwards. The, the nether is now, and the maisa is going to be afterwards, right? You're, you're making a nether that she can't have enough from you. She can't have enough from you. Lenny, we're on Nun Zayin Ahmed Aleph, the last case on the bottom. She said, you won't be able to have enough from me until Pesach. And what's the condition? If she goes before Pesach, meaning now it's the the it's it's in vogue, right? Then be also not until Pesach. And if she goes after Pesach to be over Balyachal again, what what was the nether? Guys, look at the Lushan. It's very darkistic over here. One more time. I make an he makes a nether that his wife will not be able to have enough from him up until Pesach if she goes to her father's house until the Chag. Good. She goes before Pesach. What does that do? That makes the nether in place. So therefore, 
Asura Bahanasa should be Asa Bahana at a Pesach and at a Pesach. Ula Akhar a Pesach, the Balyachel. And if the Pesach should be over by, in other words, if if he doesn't fulfill the net, the guys, watch. If if she if she if, he, if she goes, if she has enough from him, and then goes after Pesach, so she fulfilled it tonight. She be able to buy Yachel. Yeah, yeah retroactively the, the net will be in place. Shatnenesli at a Chag, you can't have enough from me until the Chag. In my leches as avicha at a Pesach. So now the nether is going to be after the Tanai. You're standing again before Pesach, and the Tanai is, right, you can't have enough of me until Sukkot. If what? If you go to the Tanai until Pesach. So now, Pesach. so now she engaged the Tanai. But if she didn't, she'd be muttered to go after Pesach. Why? Because the, the, the Tanai was not fulfilled. What did he say? You you wouldn't have enough of me until Sukkis if you go to a house until Pesach. So if 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 she didn't go Muteris Leilach Acha Pesach, she would be able to go to Daddy's house. Why? Because once Pesach passes and she didn't make the the the, the tonight, everything would be okay. Now, uh, the this is a total digression in the Mishnah. We're going to digress into a sugya of of the Nidar, of the Darim. We're making this digression, fellas, because somewhere along the line you're going to bring in our Mishnah. Okay. Somewhere along the line, you're going to bring in the Mishnah. Now, a, a few a few halachas as a as a as a prelude. <clears throat> We're used to the concept of bittel beroy, a majority. That's only by that's only by that's only by chulin, by true and cut by truma. The shear is one hundred. By arla, the shear is two hundred. You need two hundred to, to one. That's the shear. The bittel also can be when you have something that's mutter that grows, you have something that's asr and something that grows over it. In other words, you're used to the concept of tarubis, mixing things together. And there we say bittel. Bittel can be if you have something that is existing already and things grow from it. So we're going to have a shayla, the, the gedulim that grows doesn't overcome the, 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 the initial, initial object that it came from. So Oymali Ishtar, guy says to his wife, it's koinim, the mice of your hands on me. Okay, now, Yishmoel ish kfar yoma, Yishmoel the man from kfar, he was by the sea shore. I'm Imiloy, others say ish kfar dama, hella biyadoi. He went and brought up the following question. Botzel, she ikroi bishriya, she ok bishriya. Now, this onion it grew in the Shemitah year, it has Kedusha Shemitah. Notice it has this amount of beer, you have to get rid of it, you have to eat it in certain places. Or you, or you can only keep it stored and, uh, until the animals in the field. Vinatu bishminis, and you plant it in the, in the eighth year. So you uproot it in the seventh. You plant it in the eighth. The rabbi gidulov al ikroi, and the majority of the onion is more than the ikr. Majority of the money is more than the ikr, and we want to know v'achi kami boyle gidulov heta the ikroi asa. Even the rabbi gidulav may karay oisa gidulo hetav malin asa iser oiloi. So since you know the majority of this onion, majority of the onion grew in the eighth year, would it override the din of shmita? Would it have a din of an eight-year fruit? Or we say no. What's the shaila? Let's see the ran. The ran has a very very interesting way to explain the shaila. The rabbi gidulav at at ekroi. The the ran three lines down. La rabbi bel chud come. It's not speaking with you have a roid. Now, meal. We have Masufic, even if you have a Roy. Guys, even if you have a Roy, you can have a Shaila. Guys, this, this went around the same. Clearly, you have a majority. And even if you have a majority, you're still going to have a Shaila, because it could be that that grew from the onion in itself is Asr. It's not producing Mutter. That grew in the eighth year since it came from a seven is considered a seven. Guys, look at me, look at me, look at me. When you think of Roy, this is the way the Ron's learning. When you think of Roy, you think of majority, right? That's not the Shaila. You clearly have more onion growing in the eighth than the seventh. The Shaila is going to be that that grew in the eighth since it came from a seven. Is it a seven? Or no, it's a new growth. 
That's the shayla. Uh, no, basa, the, 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 no, the, the, the onion itself. So now says the ran. Venerally, the ikka sveka, the ikka suffolk is iarminon the gidulon, the thing that grew, the increase in the year eight. Kiven shenim shochim v'yotzim in a ikar since they came from an onion. She ain't a color. We know onions reproduce themselves. They're a bulb. So since they came what from something that its seed doesn't get destroyed. Does it have the din of the eighth, seventh year and it's usser? Now, so, oh, so guys, you hear, you hear the way Ron's learning? Guys, you were to learn this way. You would learn clearly a din of roiv. You have a majority of seventh overcoming the eighth. Says the Ron, that's not Shiloh. You do have a majority. The question is, is that majority heta? That's the Shiloh. Now, so let me ask you a question. So why do you learn in the case of roiv? Why don't you learn as a, a case by itself? If you have a, you have something, a, a growth of a Shemitah year, you plant it in the eighth year, what's the din of what that grows out? If, in other words, you're giving me a double Shiloh. What are you saying to me? You're telling me, A, what's the halacha? Is it heto or iser? And Slayton's, is it mavatalit, right? Just, it, just ask the question or not. What's the din of the gidulim of the, shmi, of the, of the seventh year? Is it a din of... Since it comes from a, a, a seventh year, it's a seventh and it's also, or it's a new one, it's an eighth. What do you add on the Shaila is in a battle? That, that's the Ramazi has to go on itself. The way he's, the Bishlam, if you explain it literally, you have Hetner and this is a there's not a Shaila. But the way he's learning Pshat, and he's going to tell you the reason he's learning Pshat is because of the Gemara Vaita, right? So here, here he's asking a question on himself. Break the Ram on himself, <laughs> says the Ram on himself, who bedin, who in reality, the Hamile Lemi boy, you could do an Atzman Shariyah Yisiri. We should have asked Gedulim themselves. Forget about Bittel. Miu Haba Hatali. It's one, 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 one is dependent upon the other. The Gedulim Heta Milan Es If you can say the part that grew in the eighth year goes ahead and makes the seventh Mutter Pshita the Shari, you'd be Pshita the Shaila. That what it's Mutter. The Ain Milan Dem Pshita the Asiri. The Shari Hayu Milan. If the Shari Hayu Milan. You'll see in the future why I had to explain this way. Okay, so let's get the Shila down, guys. Here's the Shila. A guy takes a shmeet, the fruit. He takes it, an uh, onion, he plants it in the eighth year. It grows in the eighth year more than the, se- the, the, the seventh year. Question, that growth that grew in the seventh year, is it heter to go ahead and override the Isser? Because clearly there's a roiv. Or even though there's a roiv, maybe it has a din of Isser of seven and it doesn't override. You'll still do a lot of work on because that's that's always seven years. But the question is, but the thing that the fruit that grew and you're now renaming from the from the you have no no you no again you again again no no the, the issue is if it's in heta then automatically roiv would work, and if it's not heta roiv won't work because you have roiv you only have said there's no roiv. It's, right. it's right. Right. Oh, good. So, but, okay. Anyway, so that's his shayla. Now, so, let's be pushed to the shayla. Also, came the ravami halfway down. The shayla came in front of ravami. The shayla came from the ravami. Lehavi biyade ravami did not know the answer to the shayla. Whether again, again, the way the Ran is learning the shayla, how do you view the gedulim? Do you view with the isra heta to override the other thing? So also came the yitzchak nafka. The shayla came in front of the yitzchak nafka. And Pashit Lay Min Hadda. He went and answered from the following. The Amma Rebbe Chanina, Trisa, that's the name of, I guess, place. Amma Rebbe Yanai, Botzel Shel Truma. You have an onion of Truma. In other words, only a coin can eat this. You know, as you a mafish Truma is a Misa, this has a din of Truma. Shenatu, you planted it. The Rabbi Gidulov Al Ikroi, and the majority of, of, of onion grew Beheta. Now, what's the din, guys? What is the din? This is tevel. Mutter, meaning it's mutter to eat nachilas aroy. It will lose the shame truma. Guys, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Again, a yedia. Truma can only be eaten by a kain. Tevel, when it's in the field, before it's piled up, you can eat nachilas aroy. <coughs> you take a, an onion of truma. You can't eat that. You're not a kain. You put it in the ground, and now it's in the ground long enough that you have more growth 
of non-truma than truma. So you have tevel now, and this tevel is being mevatel the truma. And why does it say mutter eat? It's tevel. You would be able to eat it when it's in the field. The halacha is you could eat it. So it's not truma anymore. And that's the point that the, we're making a heter over here. We're taking the chumra of truma and we're being mevatel it. So lechayr we can boish rashayla. We're taking the chumra of shvius and the gedulim is being mevatel it. So lechayr Rabbi Yitzchak Nafcha was boish the shayla. We've been boish the shayla shvius by a shayla of truma, just like the onion of truma lost its shame truma. So too the onion of shmita lost its shame lost its shame shmita. We can be boish the shayla. That's what the Gemara wants to wants to say. Now Amalei Rabbi Yirmiyah. Now Rabbi Yirmiyah. He said, the Itam Rav Zrika, Shovik Mar, you Rav Yitzhak Nafcha, that you were Paisha Bashem Rav Yanai, you left Tarin to Amaroyim. We're going to see Rav Yochanan and Rav Yonason, and you did like what? Like Rav, and you did according to this Manda Omar, according to Rav Yanai. In other words, you, you, know, it's, you have, I have two Amaroyim who say that it's not bottle. And you have one that says it is bottle, and you opted to go after that one. Now, again, this is not a Tanoic statement. These are statements of Amaroyim. Keep that in mind. So, Sigmar so asks right away, Man Ninu Torin. Who are the two that say that if the Gidl is more than the, the Iker, the Iker still remains in place? Who are those two? Guys, you got it? You're going to have a case of Isser, and you're going to have a case of Heter. And even though the het is more than the iser, the iser will remain in place. The Om Rabavo, Om Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan says in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, Yaldo Shesifcha Bisakena, Uba Paris. Okay, guys, outside. We know that first three years of a fruit bearing tree is called Orla, it's Asabahana. You take a branch of a two year old tree, it has Paris on it. You can't eat those Paris. You attach those, that you graft it onto a tree that's Yasha. It's a fifth year tree. It's an old tree. So Yolda is a new one that Orla is still Shaykhis. Sakena means it's an old tree. You graft onto it Orla fruit onto this, and now it grows more than 200 of its growth, which is the shear of Bittal by Orla. So if you say the Gedulin will be Mavatal, then you would be able to eat the fruit. But if you say the Ika if the gedulin is not mevatel, it still will be usher. Good. What's the halacha? So it says, "Afal pisha sifu masayim." Even though, while attached to the zakena, it grew two hundred of its growth more, which is the share of bittel by arla. Usher, it's usher to eat. So what do you see, guys? You see that the gedul is not mevatel yisa. It still re retains its shame arla. So question Rav Yirmiya, how could you, A, you went against Rav Yerchanan, and now I'll bring a second source where you see that the Gidl is not Mevatel. This is the second one. Rav Yerchanan and Rav Yerchanan. Botzel shenata bekerem, a onion that you planted in a kerem. Now, guys, kerem is called clay kerem. Kalayim is usually muta behana. Clay kerem is asa behana. We eat kalayim all the time. We eat many things. We eat a kalayim. If you have a tangerine, not a tangerine, a, ten, a tangelo, or a nectarine. The nectarine is the most common one that people think is the nectarine trees. It's not. It's a combination of a peach and a plum. We eat it all the time. But clay karam is also behind You took an onion, you put it in a karam, and it grew and it grew in the karam. So now it has to be in the clay karam. Now you. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying, yeah. So you went in and took it, and you need chita, the device of chita, soyer of the chartsim, the one hand. Now, shenatu bekerem, the nekar hakerem, asa. It's asa. So one second. It lo didn't lose its shame kerem, correct? You were oiket a kerem. In other words, you took away all the, all the, all the grape wines, and it's sitting there, like a flask. It's still Asa. Why? Because the Ikka was Asa. I agree afterwards. We don't care. So, guys, let's guys, let's match it up. Guys, what was the Shaila? The Shaila was that they presented what's the halacha about, about Gidulim, but you have to take a, a, seven, a, a seventh year fruit, you put it in an eighth year, 
or shmita. What's the din? So we wanted to be so came along Rabbi Yitzchak Nafcha and we poshit what from truma that it's okay. Came along Rabbi Yemi and said, one second, I got Arla and Clea Karen against you. By truma, guys, that lost the same truma. By Clea Karen, it didn't lose the same Clea Karen, and by Arla, it didn't lose the same Arla. So you have two Rabbi Yemi and Rabbi Yemi and by 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 by, uh, by Arla. Rabbi Yonason by Clay Karim going against Rabbi Yonason by what? By Truma. So why did you go ahead and say automatically that it's Mavatal Liyika? Maybe it's not. Now, keep in mind, all these cases, these were coolest because we were dealing with an Isser. Shemitah is an Isser. Truma is an Isser. Clay Karim is an Isser. And Arl is an Isser. So if the Gidl overcomes it, we're being Makal. Okay, keep that in mind. Us also come a Dravami. The Shaila came in front of Rav Ami. Now Rav Ami said earlier that he didn't have a biyade. Rav Ami said earlier he doesn't know the answer to this, but it comes back to him again. So Upasha Lay Min Hada. And now Rav Ami is questioned from the following. Dom Rab Yitzhak, Om Rab Yachinon, Litra, that's a, that's a, like like a, a an amount, a share, bit salim of onions, she tikna that you upkashate, meaning you took up the trumas and maiser, vizara. And you planted them, Miss Asheres. You take off Misa, Lefi Kula, according to all of it. Meaning, you had, you had something that was not Mechuyev in Shumas and Misa. You planted it. So let's say, guys, let's say for just for, for objects, let's say you plant something. We'll use this. When you planted it, this is what you had, and this part that you had, this this this, this thing that you had. This was up your shape. This was, you tithed already. You tithed it, right? Now it grows. Now it grows. When you take off Miser, you're going to have to take off even this. You're going you're to take off. No, words, you're not going to stop over here and say, oh, I only have to take off Miser this part. You even have to take off Miser from the part that had been Miser taken off already. So what do you see? That comes along the gido and is mevatel the ikker because you're taking mysa, you're, you're changing the status of the of the of the. Uh, t- this was tied already, right? This was tied. Now you're changing the status by taking it off. So let's be poishit the shaila. Let's be poishit the shaila that the gido that that grew can be mevatel the heter. It can be mevatel the the ikker. Why? Because you're being mevatel what the Five. What's the difference between this and all the other cases? This was a this was a cooler, right? In all the other cases, you we came. No, you were taking something that was chomer and you're being machmer. Over here, you're taking something that was mako and you're being machmer. You're requiring to take off Misa that something had been Misa taken off with already. So it could be the reason why you have to take off Misa over here. It's a chumra. Why this was taken off Misa already? But the chumra you'll take off Misa again. So there's no shaila when it comes to a chumrah that the, the giddle will be mevatel, the, the kula, to make me machmir. Our shaila is when we machmir, shmita, arla, kleakerem, truma, which are all being mevatel, a dover that's chumrah and being mekel. That's our shaila. So says the Gemara again, one more time. Dom Rav Yitzhak, Rav Yachon, litra b'tselem shetikna, vizora mishasheres lefi kula, alma, what do you see? Oisan gidulim mevatlan ikka, those gedulin are mevatel the ikka. The the gedulin that grow are mevatel the shame. The fact that that it was up to shade already, right? Uh, so so luchar you have a raya. Doesn't matter. No dilma you don't have a raya. Dilma chumra shiny. Maybe chumra is different. In other words, over here we're being machmir because again it, it was it was it was untied already. So maybe the machmir will say the gedulin will change the status. But the shaila is when we're being makel will it change the status? Okay, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow.